François Hénin. I'm the owner of Jovoy. Jovoy is a, a shop in Paris with 60 brands and a brand. Jovoy, the perfume brand, is, uh, was born in the 20s. Uh, at the origin, Jovoy was a supplier of the mistresses of the gentlemen. And uh, I st maybe still today. <laughs> and we are very glad today and happy to be uh, in Florence to show our two, our two new perfumes, Rouge Assassin and Les Jeux Sont Faits. So of course, if you were to uh, take the perfume of the origin of the brand, we are in the Roaring Twenties, and it was made for women who wanted to be seen. So pure extract, very uh, strong, opulent uh, fragrances that we won't be able technically uh, uh, to make again. I mean, really uh, with the allergens uh, uh, and. In addition, uh, it was very, very, very strong. Uh, so uh, today, the way we wear perfume has changed a lot. So Jovoy uh, is more intimate to me than uh, uh, from the fragrances of the early 20s. Uh, we are not a vintage uh, perfume house. It's just that we are keen to uh, to keep the tradition of the Parisian perfumery, uh, including in our shop in Paris. I will say this is the story of my life. Uh, it's uh, a, um, a series of pure hasard uh, and uh, meetings and encounters. Uh, originally, I was not destined to uh, be in this industry. I come from a, a regular uh, business school. But uh, since uh, uh, I had to flee away uh, from France because I was in love with a lady and uh, I, I really had to, to at least put 12,000 kilometers between us, uh, I flee to Vietnam. Uh, and uh, in Vietnam, this is where everything happened. Uh, step by step, um, again by pure hazard, I met the right people who uh, uh, showed me the words of perfumes. I, I started to sell the concentrate of perfume for the local industry. And then uh, I started to uh, a, a factory uh, in the northern part of Vietnam at the Chinese border, where I set up a small uh, uh, distillation plant to make essential oil. And this is where uh, I fall in love with uh, perfume in general. Then I was uh, four years in Grasse, the famous uh, uh, historical capital of perfumes, uh, and I was trapped for good. And talking about Jovoy, um, it's um, again uh, someone that crossed my, my, my life, Jean-Marie Martin Attenberg, a very famous writer who is uh, taking care of the auction uh, at Drouot in Paris uh, for the vintage uh, uh, bottles, who said you, you really have to, uh, you have a concept, you have this idea, but there is a brand, there is a lady uh, from the uh, 20s called Blanche Arveuil, and she created Jovoy. you have to look at that. And uh, we took the decision, he had the, the history of the brand, and I fall in love with the brand. This is where uh, uh, I took up the, 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 the brand and, and revive it. The secrets of my perfume. I think um, I have a big advantage. We have this big shop in Paris uh, with uh, 60 uh, brands. And, I, and every day I'm, I'm in front of people who are in love with perfume. And they expect from our brands in general um, a lot of cause a lot of uh, uh, they have a lot of expectations and this is why when the secret of, of Jovoy that they are perfume that keep their promises they should last uh, there are a lot of people disappointed by perfume in general from the market and they say oh uh, they fade away very fast uh, they are not faithful they change the formulation blah 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 here I would say if there is only one secret for Jovoy it will be let's go back to the raw material let's go back to the perfume and it should last on the skin, it should keep its promises. So um, today we have the six perfumes that you see here. We have a trick, in fact, to uh, discover our fragrance uh, that you can see in our shop in Paris is to smell the cap. Uh, that's a very smart uh, way to smell, uh, to smell perfume because when you spray on a blotter, the first thing that you will smell is the alcohol. It will burn your nose and here the, the cap is uh, full of, of the fragrances without any alcohol. To come back on the, on the fragrances, they are all stories. Each time, uh, either uh, people we met who make us make uh, this, uh, this perfume or very intimate uh, perfume. Only one, uh, for example, La Liturgie des Heures, uh, you are in an old French uh, Cistercian monastery, 
we are in Italy, I think you know what we are talking about, but uh, here uh, I have this strong memory uh, of me as a very young boy, uh, and, and, and we are surrounded by these uh, smoky notes of incense, of mirror, and there is also this wet stone. Uh, it was a real challenge to, uh, to work this perfume. The name, maybe you understand, uh, means that you are invited to spend a day with uh, the, the monks in a monastery. And maybe uh, we can talk about uh, L'Enfant Terrible. I think that in Italy, L'Enfant Terrible uh, sounds very familiar. Uh, you may be the one who invented the concept. So, uh, L'Enfant Terrible, of course, uh, it's, uh, we, play, we play with words, it's, um, uh, we're going back to our use uh, on the cedar wood that is an evocation of the, the pencil that we used to chew when you and me we were sleeping on the back of the classroom faking listening to the teacher and, and inside there is some dead fruit which is a tenderness which is very sensual and on top you have a spicy uh, cocktail but that will be the terrible side uh, it's a big step further to sensuality already psychedelic uh, of course uh, it refers to uh, Woodstock you are a hippie, uh, so you, you fragrance your skin and your hair with uh, pure patchouli oil from Goa. Uh, what people forget is that when Jimi Hendrix was bleeding on his guitar, uh, it started to rain for three days. And uh, your parents, your grandparents that were there, have been playing in the mud, doing everything at the contrary. So here, uh, Psychedelic, of course, is an excuse for me to uh, show you a quality of patchouli I've made the distillation of in Vietnam, uh, which is quite unique. Uh, this is really for uh, raw material lovers. Uh, names for fragrance for me are important because uh, it talks to people. Uh, uh, we are many uh, to make perfumes. Uh, if you come in a shop and you see something that captures your interest, it's already a step uh, for you to invite you to, to try the, the perfume and it's very uh, true for the two new perfumes uh, which are uh, I show you as an exclusive uh, in exclusivity um, Rouge Assassin um, is almost illegal on a man's skin I would not advise any man to wear that because it's very feminine it's a tribute to the women of the Roaring Twenties we are talking about the, the early days of Jovoy and especially um, uh, we say in French uh, the garçon uh, so we're talking about a woman who replaced men uh, during First World War in the factory, in the offices she starts to make money, she's independent and uh, as you can see, maybe you can see uh, the garçon cut her hair she, uh, she's not afraid about anything, but she's very feminine. So Rouge Assassin is uh, a work mainly on iris butter, iris butter from Florence, uh, which is the evocation of the lipstick. So if a man wear that on his skin, he has two options, either to be killed by his wife when he goes home, because where are you coming from, or maybe he shows his intentions. Maybe he wants to tickle men or annoy women. Uh, and les jeux sont faits. Les jeux sont faits is a different story. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the movies of the 60s. Maybe you heard about Lino Ventura. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a tribute to the men. It's a very masculine, viril perfume. It's funny because when we talk about artistic perfume in general, um, we try to avoid to, to give a, a sex to angels. So it has to be mixed. It, there is an ambiguity here. There is no ambiguity at all. There is a very strong masculine perfume uh, for Les Jeux Sont Faits and uh, feminine for Rouge Assassin. Future projects for Jovoy. Jovoy, is, uh, you have two things. You have the, the, the shops and you have uh, the brand. For the shops there are many projects. I think uh, a lifetime is not enough to talk about it. But for perfumes, yes. There is going to be... Uh, we are working right now on a new perfume that will be uh, the Eco of Rouge Assassin. Rouge Assassin is uh, emblematic of those ladies that um, came to light in the Roaring Twenties and will never stop. We are talking about you now. This is your grandmother. And there is a woman that is going to disappear 
uh, with the crisis of 1929 is the mistresses of the, the aristocrats. Because uh, 1929 is a huge crisis, the aristocrats, the Russian barons, uh, they lose everything. Um, and, uh, and the mistresses disappear. Mm -hmm.